everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing extremely well. So today's tutorial is going to be on strobing and highlighting. Pretty much the same thing. Strobing is just a fancy word for highlighting. But yeah, you guys have been requesting this like crazy ever since I posted this particular look on Instagram where I... It was like a really... Not basic, uh, it was basic. It was just a really simple makeup look. It was really dewy and it had intense highlighting. I'll put a picture right here of the look. <laughs> and yeah, so I thought I would do that for you guys today, especially since here in Australia we are coming into spring. I thought it would just be perfect. And yeah, so I'm going to be doing this look from start to finish. Full makeup look, I'm going to include skincare and the highlighters I use and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's jump into it. Okay, so first off I'm going to start off by moisturising my face. For this I'm going to be using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream Intense Hydration for drier skin types. I'm just dotting that over my face like I normally would when I moisturise. And I'm just going to start rubbing that. I'm going to be taking the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and I'm just going to kind of blend that down my face because I have mentioned multiple times before I have extremely dry skin so I like to apply this to give me more hydration. I'm mainly dry around these areas and also my forehead so I also will apply that to my forehead as well. So just taking that on the dropper I'm going to just apply it like so and start to lightly rub that and tap it in. Face oils are amazing for dry skin. The Josie Marin Argan Oil just happens to be one of my favourites. It's definitely a staple in my skincare routine. Step, I'm going to be taking my MAC strobe cream and I'm going to apply this to the point of my face that I will highlight and I'm going to apply this before I apply my foundation now with strobing and highlighting you pretty much apply the highlighter to the areas where the light catches your face so that is your cheekbones your temples your brow bone the inner corners of your eyes, the tip of your nose. I sometimes apply it to the top part. I don't really like to apply it all the way down the bridge. And your cupid's bow. And also I sometimes do the bottom of your chin. Like not the bottom, but like one of the corners. Because I find that that catches a lot of light as well. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the strobe cream. Not to all of those areas, just mainly the bigger areas. So I'm going to apply it to my cheekbones. I'm going to apply it to my temples and the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow. So I just put a bit on the back of my hand. I think I might have put a bit too much. I probably won't use all of that. And I'm taking that on my ring finger and I'm just lightly dabbing it and also rubbing it in. With this, as I'll also be applying it to my temples, I like to apply in a sort of C shape. So I zoom the camera in a little bit more so you can see better. And as you can see, where I've applied that strobe cream, the light is catching it and it's making my face glow and glisten. <laughs> so moving on to foundation, for this type of particular look, I like to switch between two foundations and they are the MAC Face and Body Foundation and the Chanel Vita Lumia Aqua Foundation. These are two of my absolute favourites to use for this. A lot of the time I use the MAC Face and Body. But for today I'm going to be using the Chanel Vita Lumia Aqua in the shade 20 Beige. 
With this stuff, I also like to mix in a little bit of a liquid illuminator. And for this today, I'm going to be using the Soleil Tan de Chanel by Chanel. I switch between so many different illuminators, but today this is the one that I have chosen to use. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of that. It kind of sucks that this thing doesn't have a pump. Hello, anyone in there? So I've just applied a little bit on the, well this is actually a primer but I'm just using it as a palette for today. So I've just applied a little bit of that there and I'm going to take this on a beauty blender actually. So I'm going to get the beauty blender and I'm going to mix the two together, the foundation and the illuminator, and I'm going to start applying this to my face. Smells good. So that's the foundation done. As you can see, it's not full coverage. It's very light, but it covers enough. It covers the redness on my cheeks. And by mixing in that illuminator, it's given a really, really nice dewy glow to the skin. The next step is concealer. And for this, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm going to take this and apply it with the Doe Foot applicator but I'm not going to apply a lot of it at all. Usually in my tutorials you'll see that I'll, I'll apply it all underneath my eye, but this time I'm just going to take it and apply, starting from the inner corner and just a small, well it's not really small, but just like a swish. Mainly focusing on the inner part of my dark circles. Then I'm going to be taking this duo fiber brush. This is just a really, Really small version of a fluffy brush. It's really thin. Um, where did I get this from? It was in my Salon Melbourne haul. I think it may have been Crown Brush. It doesn't have a name, it doesn't have a number. It, this is just what it looks like. And I'm going to take this and start, and I'm going to start blending that concealer out underneath my eye. And I'm using a very light hand for this. I'm also going to be using my finger to pat out the inner corner and also underneath. Just like so. And you want to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Now that I finished the concealer, I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm not going to set it with any powder at all. I like to avoid using any powder when it comes to doing really dewy looks. Personally, because I feel like it just doesn't look as fresh. I mean, powder mattifies it anyway, so it takes away a lot of the dewy look and doesn't look as natural sometimes. I mean, it does if you use a little bit of powder, but if you use too much, it doesn't look as great. So I like to avoid using powders and yeah, so I'm just going to move on and fill in my eyebrows and I'm going to do them not as like dramatic as I usually would. I'm just going to brush the spoolie and using my Sigma brow powder, the same one in as in my eyebrow tutorial, I'm going to take the light shade and I'm just going to roughly fill that in. I'm going to get the spoolie and brush downwards and then just fill that in and brush that back up. A little bit more of that powder and just ever so lightly. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do to my eyebrows today. I'm going to brush these hairs up and make sure they stay up. And then that is it. Moving back onto the face, I'm going to take my Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronzing Makeup Base. And as you can see, this is a cream bronzer. It's not very dark. It's actually quite a natural colour, so it 
really blends in well with the face. So I'm going to take this on to a duo fiber brush. This is by Morphe Brushes. This is the M43. This is the M436 brush, and I'm going to swirl that into the cream bronzer and load that brush on like that. And I'm going to begin by buffing this into the hollows of my cheeks. pretty dark but once we buff this in it won't be so dramatic you just want to continue buffing that in in circular motions you want to apply this to your forehead or the outer perimeter of your forehead I should say And with this, you kind of want to make a three around your face. So going from the forehead to the hollows of your cheekbones and then down your jawline. And that makes that three. So after you've done that, I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm not going to apply any eyeshadows or anything to my eyes. As you can see, my eyes have some natural discoloration, so I like to leave that there because it kind of does look like a bit of an eyeshadow. So I'm going to leave that and then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. And the mascara I am using is by It Cosmetics and it is the Hello Lashes Mascara. So I'm going to go and curl my lashes. I can never talk when I do this because I'm scared I'm going to pull out my eyelashes. Now moving on to the highlighting, I personally prefer to use liquid highlighters first. Sometimes I'll use a powder, but today I'm going to start off by using a highlighter. I haven't decided yet how intense I want this highlight to look, but I always add a powder on top if I want it to be really, really intense. And I think that's what I did in the Instagram photo, so I think I may do that today. <laughs> but I'm going to start off by using the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. And I'm going to pump a pump of that, yeah, pump a pump of it onto the back of my hand. So just like that. And I'm going to grab it on my ring finger and like I mentioned before, apply it to the points of my face that catch light. I keep looking into my viewfinder to see if it's in focus. I think God it is. But again, if you didn't catch it before, it's going to be the tops of my cheekbones my temples, my brow bone, my cupid's bow, the tip of the nose and the corner of the eyes and just a little bit just on top of the bridge of my nose. I don't really know what to call that part but yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start applying that. And you just want to continue to dab that in. I prefer to use the ring finger because it's quite a delicate finger and I can tap that the quickest. That's literally why I use it. and also the bottom of my chin and lastly the cupid's bow and lastly the inner corners So if you're after just a really dewy glow, I would stop just there. It gives you the perfect amount of glow and shine and you just look really natural and sun-kissed. But knowing me, I like to take it a step further. So I'm going to go in with one of my absolute favorite highlighters. This is the Chaos 
Cosmetics V on Rose highlighter and I'm actually going to use the highlighter primer underneath it and this is going to give me a really 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 intense highlight so I'm going to get this and apply this to my cheekbones and you know make it really intense <laughs> so just like so but I'm not bringing this all the way down just keeping it to the higher point of my cheekbone just like that and my temple my brow bone And then I'm going to take the powder highlighter, as I mentioned just before. And I'm actually going to take this on my Inglot 4SS brush. And I'm just going to apply that on top of those areas that I applied that highlighter. And also making sure I apply this to the inner corner. Just like that. And for lips, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take some of this Chaos Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Solar Flare. And just a plain clear lip gloss. This is by KSL Cosmetics and it is just a clear lip shine. And I'm going to put a bit of the the highlighter on my hand, just applying it with a Sigma brush. And I'm just going to go on top of that with a little bit of the Model Co Lip Lacquer in the shade Morocco. So that is it for this tutorial guys this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope that i explained the strobing technique enough and you took something away from this video and learned something new today if you did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up that would really mean the world to me and yeah so this can pretty much be worn any way you like if you do have oily skin maybe not as much highlighter because your oils will you know come through and make it look a little bit more oily but that's okay if you have normal to dry skin definitely feel free to use as much highlighter as you like but yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video once again and let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comments down below and I will see you in my next tutorial bye